Hi guys, I hope you're all doing fantastically today. And in today's video, we will be looking at my first ever Kate Spade purchase. So, before we get started, a quick disclaimer here. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever you choose to spend your hard earned money on is completely up to you. Luxury or not? So let's get started, guys. Um, actually, one more thing. If you could please consider subscribing to this channel if you do like this content. And to all my viewers watching right now, thank you for taking the time to watch this and spending your time with me today. So, Kate Spade. This is the commuter bag. And you can probably guess why it's called that. It's for people, I guess... I'm assuming here, I don't know for sure, intended for people who are commuting, right? Going back and forth to work. Um, the reason why I chose this bag is I wanted something that holds my large laptop, its charger and all my little bits and bobs so that if I have a day out and I'm taking my laptop with me, whether that be to work or somewhere else, that it could hold everything, that it was still sleek and stylish in design and wasn't bulky, large, and you know, not very stylish. Um, the thing about backpacks is they're awesome. I love wearing and using them, but there are some settings where I want to be dressed smartly or I need to go from one location to another. So from, from a daytime setting to an evening setting, um, you know, such as a dinner date or what have you, out for dinner or whatever. And I need something that still looks stylish and smart. So let's have a look, shall we? So this bag does come in other colors. I believe there is a kind of burgundy color, a kind of creamy white color, and also I saw a color block option too. So um, there will be videos running or images of this as you see this video right here. Um, I happen to get this one on sale during the Black Friday sales um, here in the UK. So I did get it at a discount. But uh, yeah, let's take a tour and have a look at this bag. So firstly, you can see here, it does have feet on the bottom. That does mean you tend to worry about the bag less in terms of putting it down wherever you are. Um, it is sewn here. You can see there's some sewing here to hold everything in place, which is fantastic. Turn to the side. There is this very sweet detailing here of this extra piece of leather. Um, it looks like it's sewn down here and there is, and it is sewn here, so it holds the knot permanently in place. And it's the same on the other side. If I just turn it here, same thing. It is double zipped in the main compartment. So if I just take the zipper and pull it up here for a moment, let's have a look. You can see here, it does have that Kate Spade detail. Ooh, there we go. Let's try it again, shall we? You can see here that Kate Spade detailing on the zippers and of course the Kate Spade logo right here on the front let me get it there there you go okay so the last part the straps here it does have carry handle straps these are definitely top handle this is not a, a uh, over the shoulder handle here but if you are sharp eyed which I'm sure all of my viewers are um, you can see here some brackets, uh, one here and one here on the other side. So what goes on these brackets? Of course, a crossbody strap. So let's get that strap here. This does have different settings on it. So this can go from a over the shoulder strap to a crossbody. And you can see there, it's not just a one pin fastening, it's actually a two pin fastening right here. So you can see that there, you can just push them into place. And this is actually quite firm because I haven't used this in a little while, there we go. So you can see there, it does stay firmly in place and I would do the same for the second. So it's not an easy to slip. And of course, as you can see here, this is actually sewn into place. So it can't just slide up and down on the, uh, on the uh, fastening, which is quite nice. And this also has some Kate Spade detailing on the buckle. So let me just do that here so you can see that. It's actually upside down, sorry about that. Let's try that again so you can see that there. 
Okay, so I've been using this bag for a few months and what I came to find was when I had it fully loaded with everything in it, such as, you know, laptop, charger, a notebook, pen, phone, etc., etc., it I found it actually digging into my shoulder with using this strap because this strap although it's not the most narrow strap in the world it, it does have some it does it does have some width to it this is not as wide as I would prefer to use because I like to distribute the weight quite evenly and wear mine crossbody most of the time so I ended up going on Amazon and actually getting a different strap um let me grab that for you so as you can see if I compare this to this in width you can see very much so this is in essence twice the width of the leather strap and also this comes with this softened i want to say maybe it's neoprene uh, fabric or material and you can see there it has a little bit of give to it and you can see here it's actually got a little bit of thickness there that it can you know really take some weight and it's not going to dig in because it's rather soft and with this width, extra width here and it being adjustable, this can also still go as a shoulder strap or as a crossbody. I believe this detailing is faux leather. So let me put that to one side. This for me made all the difference between me using this bag very often and using it a lot less often. Let me put that to one side. So let's look at the organization of this bag, shall we? So when you get to the front, there is a magnetic opening. Let me just show you that here and here on this side as well. So as I pull it open, the one thing about this bag is it, it, although it's it's got a firm structure, as you can see as I'm pushing it, it, it moves. So it's got an, it's firm, but not overly firm to where you're like cutting your hand, trying to dig in and open it up. So let's do this. So here you can see there are four pockets. There's one, there's two, and then there's two more shallow pockets here this is large enough for a single card or you know you know a few cards to go in there it's that kind of size these smaller pockets and the large ones you could put in a pair of glasses you could probably slide in your slide in a phone um pens things like that and of course you've got this piece here now this is in a what feels like a cotton lining i don't know for sure but it does feel like a cotton lining and if you look very closely you can probably see although it's upside down the kate spade here so let's go into the middle it's double zip opening so you can put the zips either side or in the middle which is fantastic and here you can see a large pocket opening i will say this opening does feel like it's been um further supported by some other fabrication inside it feels a little bit thicker than usual so it will so it does feel quite sturdy same fabric lining and as you can see as i open it up it does let me turn it this way you can see how flexible this is and it really does open up even though it's firm which is fantastic when you're trying to pull a laptop out right um and as you can see here there's plenty of width if i just put my hand in there you can see the width in here it's rather large and let me insert a picture here of me actually having my 15 inch laptop inside. Fits in no issues with room to spare on this sizing here. So let's go to the back pocket because there is another magnetic closure. And if I just let go, you can hear that click there. One more time. There you go. So in the back, there is a zipped compartment um, I would suggest using this back zip compartment as your micro, super micro handbag. What do I mean by that? Well, my iPhone 12 Pro Max actually can stand in here like my hand does right now. So I'll insert a picture here of that also. But you can also fit in, you know, your card holder, keys, um, you know, uh, any medications, um, a travel pass, hand sanitizer, face mask, all those kinds of things can fit in here and then zip closed which would be fantastic. And then you have this back sleeve here. This is great for papers, booklets, all those kind of things, your pass, you know, you, if you're taking this for work, your work pass and so forth. And let me just put that like so and close this. Oops, sorry guys, I'm moving you around. Close this like so. Now, this is one small tip. If you wanna keep the zip open, not have it move around, you can just tuck it behind 
this knot here, but I'll put it out for this purpose. Because that's what I often do. I often will have it open and just tuck this behind so it doesn't get in the way and annoy me and it's just an open compartment. Okay. So, how did I find using the bag? Did I enjoy it? Would I recommend it? The short answer is yes. This is a pebbled leather bag. I really enjoyed using it. Um, the weight of this bag in of itself is not very substantial at all in terms of weight. It doesn't feel overly heavy, yet somehow it's substantial enough for me to, you know, fill in, fill it with all the items. I don't feel it sagging or dragging or, you know, losing its shape. Um, I use this for a few months. Um, I even used it today before filming this in huge amounts of rain and not a scratch on her. She is looking in great condition for a few months of use. And when I look at the stitching, like even right now, right, I'm pulling the handles here and as you can see it's not just falling apart or there's not there's no pop stitches or anything here as I as you can see there's double stitching here on the uh on the side of the bag when I turn to the bottom you can see that double stitching carrying on you can see the foot studs here and it really does go out with you very well so as I come back here, you can see it just has that very sleek and smart look without me wondering, you know, is this going to do the job? Now, when I add this, this uh, second strap to it that I got off Amazon, then suddenly it gives the bag a second new lease of life, which is really being a workhorse for me because the smarter strap is fantastic for a very, very sleek look. But if I'm going to be carrying this bag all day, you know, for multiple hours, then I'm going to opt for this strap most likely and put this one away. So there really is multiple options here. But yeah, I just wanted to take you on a tour of my first ever Kate Spade bag and uh, hope you really enjoyed the video, guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye for now.